What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this we're going to be talking about Greg Scruggs, Michigan's defensive line coach getting suspended and the future for him. Plus a Michigan wide receiver enters the transfer portal as well as what the offensive coordinator Kurt Campbell and defensive coordinator Wink Martindale said to the media uh, pre-Michigan spring football. Plus going to be talking about some recruiting news including a linebacker talking about his recent visit to Michigan and a four-star offensive lineman excited about his upcoming visit to Michigan. It's all going to be in this video and more, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Did want to talk about here in this video is the future of Michigan defensive line coach Greg Scruggs as it came out uh, on Saturday that he was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. That was confirmed uh, that he was arrested for OWI by the Ann Arbor Police Department just before 3 a.m. Now, this isn't the first time that this, this has happened for Greg Scruggs. It is the first time uh, as a coach. However, Scruggs played college football at Louisville, and in 2011, he had a DUI charge and was dismissed from the Louisville team just before uh, the Belk Bowl. However, he did then go on to play five seasons in the NFL and winning a pair of Super Bowls, and obviously then went to coach at Cincinnati and Wisconsin, which was last season uh, under Luke Fickle. So we'll see what Michigan decides to do. Sharon Moore did make a statement stating Greg made an unfortunate mistake and was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. He made no excuses and has taken accountability for his actions. And the football program and athletic department have suspended Greg indefinitely while we review details of the incident. Now penalties for an OWI offense include up to 93 days in jail, a $105 hundred dollar fine and up to six months uh, suspension of a driver's license however you know we don't know uh, fully what went on with the incident but definitely not a good look and uh, we'll see what Michigan decides to do and if Greg Scruggs will keep his job but you know all I will say is you know a lot of people make mistakes obviously this isn't the first alcohol related arrest in his lifetime but uh, you know it kind of just depends on what Scruggs can prove to keep his job here you know if he's going to take accountability and potentially seek rehab or whatever to indicate that this won't happen again here in Michigan. If not, Michigan, you know, may have to let him go and get a new defensive line coach. But he hasn't been fired or anything right now, but his future does remain murky right now. And then another thing uh, that came out today is the Michigan wide receiver Iman Dennis, the senior, announced he will enter the transfer portal. Not really a huge loss for Michigan. Michigan really didn't uh, use him that much. They did use him on special teams. He did state that I want to extend my appreciation to Coach Harbaugh, Coach Moore, Coach Herb, and the entire coaching staff for their unwavering support and mentorship. He said being a Michigan man has taught me lessons that will resonate throughout my lifetime. And he said thank you to everyone who helped me throughout my journey and forever go blue. Appeared in 14 games on special teams this season working on the punt coverage unit making one tackle. So not a huge loss but just want to let you guys know about that and and then uh, some of the Michigan coaches actually spoke to the media as spring practice it does start today. They talked about it uh, over the weekend, though. Offensive coordinator Kirk Campbell spoke, talking about what has prepared him for being Michigan's offensive coordinator. So I think the biggest thing for me in my entire coaching career, I became offensive coordinator. I believe I was 24 years old. Before I called my first game, I was 25. And that experience has taught me so much in this process. He said, it's like you throw an infant into a pool and they learn how to swim. He said, but I learned what my strengths, my weaknesses, where I had to adapt, where I had to get better. And talking about determining the starting quarterback for the 2024 season. He said, I don't think we'll have a timeline on that. He said, we're going to make the decision when the decision has to be made, but super excited about the room. We have five guys right now that are going to have opportunity to take that starting job. He said, we've got a lot of talent in there. It's my job to get the best out of them. They talk about if you allow quarterbacks to be hit during practice, 
and I said live quarterback play for me would be extremely important to make the decision. I said I prefer those guys to be alive a lot more than we would have last year with JJ. To talk about the offensive philosophy for Michigan, he said as far as structure, terminologies that we use, that's not going to change, but how we use the players in the offense, that may change. He said any great co coordinator on any side of the ball forms their offense around the players. So who are your best players and how do you put them in the best situation to succeed? And Michigan defense defensive coordinator Wink Martindale also uh, discussed and took questions from the media. He was asked on the defense's returning talent level. Uh, he did say that I think it would be a better question to ask when we get done with spring. I'd be able to answer you in a lot more detail, but he said, I think there's definitely some talented players here up front at all three levels. Talking about on having Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant, he said, I think with the foundation of having those two to start with, it would help any defense out and at any level. He also talked about Rod Moore. He said, Rod Moore, he's the safety that, and I'm not talking about play-wise or anything else, smart-wise, football knowledge-wise, all that. He reminds me of Eric Weddle. He did talk about why he chose to return to college. He said, it's getting very comparable to the NFL, but he said he heard a lot of great things about Sharon Moore in Michigan. And he said, he coach at this great university and play the games that we play. The schedule is not much different from the schedules I've been playing the last 20 years. But I did say that there is a lot of Michigan players that know football here he was asked on whether he plans to be the same kind of play caller in college uh, he said i think every year is different but i'm not going to tell ryan day or sark what we're gonna do i have the confidence in these players and they're going to execute at a high level he said the proof is in the pudding with jesse and mike if we can get to the quarterback rushing three we'll rush three that's the football way that's what both michigan's new offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator had to say over the weekend as Michigan football is actually starting spring practice today. And I did want to talk about some recruiting news here for Michigan. First guy I did want to talk about is the 2025 three-star wide receiver Quinn Morris from the state of Illinois. He is the younger brother of Tyler Morris who is set to be a leading wide receiver this upcoming season for Michigan. But I told EJ Howland of the Wolverine that I talked to Michigan here and there. They are still up there. I'm trying to see what other options I have but I still Still love Michigan. He said he trusts Sharon Moore as head coach and a lot of people think they might be bad but I think they could be just as good as last year. That's what he had to say about this upcoming season for Michigan. And talking about his brother he said I expect a breakout year, more touchdowns and plays. He did say he's going to go back up there for the spring game. Right now along with Michigan he holds offers from Ball State, Miami, Ohio and Minnesota. So not too many offers and it should be a recruitment Michigan should be able to win. And if he's anything like Tyler Moore Morris, we will certainly take him. And another guy who Brian Jean Mary has been in contact with is the 2025 three star linebacker Luke Metz from the state of Georgia. He actually recently just visited Michigan as he told the Michigan Insider the visit was awesome. I really liked watching their walkthrough and talking to the coaches. He said the culture, it's something special. The way the guys do things, the, the, uh, with their energy is just a different and talking about where Michigan stands in his recruitment he said top two or three easy and then the 2025 four-star offensive lineman Hardy Watts from the state of Massachusetts as he talked about Michigan ahead of his first visit he told the Wolverine that I really just want to see a passionate team I'm a big energy and team mentality guy and if a team is bought in that's really appealing to me he also likes how Michigan you know, has one of the best offensive lines year in and year out recently, and they produce offensive linemen that can develop their offensive line into NFL caliber athletes. Talking about Coach Moore, he said, he proved himself. He deserves that position. I'm excited to meet him. And he said that him and new offensive line coach Grant Newsom have a great relationship. And he said, Michigan, it's somewhere where an offensive lineman should want to be and would want to be. I'm very interested in Michigan. There's a little bit of some recruiting news there, uh, but with that, that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you're new around here i greatly appreciate it now, i should also have a basketball video coming out soon either later today after this video is published or tomorrow as i'll be talking about the new head coaching search who michigan should be going after so look uh, be on the lookout for that but other than that we'll see you guys in the next video go blue